Hello and welcome to another episode of an early access for um, the Glossop route, Manchester Glossop. Big thank you for the dove uh, for the key from Dovetail. Really appreciate it. And um, without further ado, we are doing today the um, 2G05 Manchester Piccadilly to Hadford via Glossop part one and part two. So part two is basically we'll just be carrying on going from Glossop into Hatfield. So let's get uh, underway. Uh, GCSL, GCMR, put that on, put the keys in. Open the doors anyway. Door should be opening. GCMR's already sorted. We're just going to deregister it because just uh, confirm deregister. Yes. And I'm just going to really make it bright and loud. So now we're going to switch it on again to register. Registration code 9998 lead driver. Check head code. 2G05. So we are there. Um, we are on marker lights, night head, day head. Put the safeties on, which I had to remember where they are, which are here. AWS. Um, I think everything else. Oh, vigilance as well. Need that on. I think, he says, I think we are ready. Lights are on, no one's home. Get the window down in a minute. So this is uh, um, the new route from Dovetail for the UK, which is uh, Manchester to Lossop, about 30, not even 37 miles. I can't remember the exact route. I'll try and remember that for next time. <laughs> um, well, we've got a little bit of time. Quick look around. Hello. Now, I'm not sure if these screens, no, they're not here. They are in the scenario. It's a bit of a shame that they're not here in the actual game itself. But in the scenario where you go around with the photographs and everything, taking photographs, they're there. Um, so this area here, just here, out, out here, we can get out here somehow. No, let's go out this way. So this area here is basically you can is where the freight is. Where's this one going? Manchester Airport. Look, eight oh four. Blackpool North. So um, yeah, you can get the you can get the freight trains coming out of here, and you get off here as well. Network rail buildings there. Little doors. They've obviously not got the network rail logo license, so they can't use it. But yes, yeah, that this is all network rail stuff buildings got HST come on. what well okay um okay well that's the first for me oh okay we're gonna be a couple of minutes late I didn't realize the mid the mainline HST makes an appearance I think it's as AI get a shot of that Right, okay. Sorry, I sound surprised because I'm no idea that that was in there. And um, we'll close the doors. And we're on our way. Ashbury's platform one in one and a half miles time. So this is my first run with the 323, I think. On the PS5. I'm sure it is. I'm already speeding. Oh well, doesn't go very well for us, does it? Yep, that is definitely the HSC there. Oh,
Under what service that... Oh, that could be the ones that... No, could that be the one to Blackpool North? That we looked at earlier on? Well, it's definitely nice to see it in here, though. Give me two. Well, that's a bit of a surprise because I didn't know about that. Oh, we're speeding again. Must forgive my speeding. Oh, put the regen brake on. Regen brake is on. Okay. There's no units in there. Most of the units will be out anyway. This is the, the depot and the Siemens, um, Siemens depot. I think for the 185s, I think it is. It's a bit of a fanboy moment there with the 125. I'm like, really? Coming into our first stop, which is Ashbury's. I do have the, now I do, the frame rate counter up. I'd love the, the sounds going over the rail joints. That's something I really do like. Even even on my model railway, I love listening to the sound the rail joints, the the, the, the stop. Everything going over the rail joints. Love it. Guide Bridge Platform 2. So when we go past Guide Bridge, I also want to have a look at the um, the yard in there. There's a loco in there. We've got a freight train coming up. Oh, yeah. I think they're JNA wagons, I'm not sure. We'll have a look in a minute. Oh no, they're the, the Shanker ones. I think in one of the scenarios I saw the JNA wagons in there. This is the PS5. 
Oh, I'm on. Two miles to Guy Bridge. There are freight trains that run throughout the day. There's about 30 odd freight services, including, um, not including AI. These are playable freight services. I didn't really expect there to be any freight services, to be honest. But Joe's managed to put a couple in. And there's AI freight services as well. This, I think it's this bridge. No, it's not that bridge. That line there. There's, there's AI services on this line. AI freight services, that is. Occasionally you may see a freight train go over there. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the um, the uh, Oak Oakfield or Oakland freight line um, in on the Harlem line that Joe did. Oakford. I can't remember what the line is. It's the branch line that you go over, and sometimes you see the freight trains. So this this bridge here, there's freight trains that go over it. No, it's not this bridge. Yes, it is. It's that bridge we just passed under. Not this one. Start to slow down. We've got a 40 mile an hour limit coming up as well. Two, three in the uh, in what you call it? Just leaving. Give me two. So this is a new operator as well in the game, um, which is Northern Rail. Be interesting to see if any of the um, services get cancelled. <laughs> Ooh, too soon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I like the stations. I've seen a lot of the stations recently, actually. Right, let's go and have a quick look at Guy Bridge, the which is in real life it's a freight line area. Um, the railhead treatment trains will stay there these wagons will be there most of the time anyway uh, 66236 and when you do take the stuff to guide bridge you end up coming all the way stopping just up by just before the signal so you'll usually stop about here so you'll stop about the freight trains will stop here and then if there is any ones that you do take back then they'll be from about roughly about here i think i haven't done any yet so let's get going all right where are we going next flowery field i'm not too worried about the time but you know we're going to be a bit late but the timings are pretty tight so unlike me, you're going to have to be Johnny on the spot. So back up to 60. I think 60 is the majority of the speed that you will be going. Um, there are low speeds as, as 10.
would this be worth it to buy 20 pound it's not too bad price and if you've got i will show you the following layers if you do have the following layers then yeah i think it's worth it to get personally that's my speed that's mine i think it is worth it even if dovetail um didn't didn't you provide me with the key i'd be buying the route even though my circumstances that i'm unemployed um i'm a full-time carer so and as most people know if you're a full-time carer you get screwed by the government but you know hey ho um so yeah i would be getting it for both the xbox and the playstation This is a, that, that is a station, I believe, that you start one or two freight services off going to Manchester Piccadilly. It's now just getting used to where the stations are, the station stops and everything. Um, the stations are really nice on there, even though in real life some of them well from what i've seen they look a bit of a <laughs> look a bit of a dump so this is where we are that's that little station i think i can't remember it offhand what it is but there's collectibles on there as well also there's also collectibles where is it in the depot buildings um we've got a uh, here in the depot buildings there's collectibles in here so um yeah so i think the only slight differences between the birmingham cross city and the uh manchester glossop 323 is we have a clock here and here usually on the Birmingham Cross City 323 it was are you sure if you are you aware or something like that of your stopping patterns so um, yeah Newton for high is next. Birmingham Cross City is quite a nice little route, although it could do with having more traffic on it at Birmingham. Um, but it's a bit long and arduous because if you do the full Bromsgrove to Litchfield Trent Valley run it's about an hour so we'll have a quick look at the station have a quick look at the loco the livery as well to say the multiple unit loco the multiple unit livery Sorry, Missy. The little PIS balls there in the wall. Surprised they're not smashed. Copley is next. So there's a lot of stops in between this. As to the route, it's quite rural looking, it's nice and scenic, I enjoy it. I'm not I don't enjoy it because it's scenic, I enjoy it because it's another route to drive on. Another route to learn. 
another load of it's 200 and something old services to learn to, to do I've not even looked at journey mode yet So as you can see, I have been to some of these stations before because I've collected the, uh, got some of the collectibles. Some of them, not all of them. Damn, could have got that as well. Oh well. Didn't see that. In fact, to be honest, this would probably be a nice nice route to do a walk in the route on. limit coming up in 1.9 miles. Hattersley is next. But it's not this station. This is uh, Disuse Station. Quite nice for the... Uh, so that's Hattersley. It's uh, two. Tra I think it's two trains per hour along the route, each uh, each side. So you can do your guard mode thing. Right, everyone's in. So that beeping sound is just basically um, me because I've put the left the train in forward. So you can close your doors and then basically close the local door. Oh. You just push that one there. Then you hit the old buzzer. And then you um, hightail it out of dodge. Off to broad bottom. <laughs> mile to a 40 limit we should get notification there is a video there's an excellent video going out Don Coffee video Don Coffee on YouTube look for 323 cab ride glossop and it gives you literally the run from Manchester Piccadilly through to Glossop and then to Hadfield 
and then back to Manchester Piccadilly roughly about an hour in total around the station there's one of the other collectibles which is a B you've got the route map I can't believe I've not got the B but I've got the route map um, there's a poster and the, there's the papers as well Dinting is next So it's an all right livery for the Northern. Dinting Viaduct is next. Just taking my drink and it had ice in it. The ice has melted, but it's made the glass cold where it's been sat. And all the liquid is just the water like, <laughs> this has been dripping on my feet. I've got no shoes or I've got no shoes or socks on. Just got my little cushion down below on, on, on my feet or under my feet. And then we've got a ten mile an hour limit as well. It goes into a forty. Mm, no. Oh yeah, it's a little ten mile an hour when you get when you come off the other viaduct. This ain't Dinton viaduct. Dinton viaduct is further up. So there's the other train. He's come out of that area, that's why we had a red signal. We had to wait for him to come out. But because he's come out of the area before we started. I keep wanting to look for a little Huns Lit Bear. One of the collectibles from um, um, Birmingham Cross City. There's no cats either on here, which is a bit disappointing. One mile for Dintin. So the viaduct is roughly about here. And then it shows you slow down for the 10 mile an hour crossover and into Dintin there. It's a permanent, um, what do you call it, board? Fixed distance had to think then I like the little bits of like ballast bags that they've got there as well that's quite cool it's, it's the clutter that's like that's what I quite like to see along the side of the, the line the clutter like the rails all that sort of stuff so we've got to slow down we're coming up just around here to the viaduct So we've got the little feather there and we've got a 10 mile an hour limit coming up. If we were going straight into Dinting, then onto Hatfield, we go we go through uh, the, the correct speed. No, we wouldn't. Shut up. I don't know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> we still have to go across the 10 mile an hour limit. So if we have a quick look outside here. Look at this. That's about as far as we can go. That's pretty cool. Now, if you can, the idea is to see. That's a big penalty spot as well, by the way. That is a hell of a big penalty spot. Put a little face on that.
The reason why we've got a red light is because, well, less than a mile is Glossop Station. Lined in here, look. That passenger's board. Free car stop. Let's do the run down to Glossop and then we do Glossop and then we'll come round on that line and go round the back into um, Hadfield. There's a 10 mile an hour limit. So when we get to Glossop, it will go and give me all the stats and everything that I've done. It should be 25. 10 seconds. Um, and then basically I'll just go press continue and then we'll go and do the uh, Glossop to Hatfield run. That'll be part one and part two of the service. I don't really see that we're going to do 45, get up to 45 miles an hour. I don't know, we might do. Some people question the validity of them, do, why they do this, did this route as they have. Um, I think basically because it's a route that's enclosed, it's in its own entirety. I mean, it's not worth doing um, 45 mile an hour here because basically you're going to hit, be hitting 10 mile an hour just before the station. So, yeah. Um, because it's, it's an enclosed route. It's a unique route because you've got a triangle at the end. You know, you've got a, at the one end of the route, you've got a triangle. It's got it's got AI freight. It's got normal freight as well, which you can drive. I'll show you those services in a minute. a bit too fast. Whoops, Daisy. A local line for local people. Just saw something caught my eye back here actually. It's a red barrel. I don't think I've actually done Hadfield yet. I've, I don't think I've been to Hadfield. I'm not sure.
Right, so that's 9,550 and a silver. That's cool. Now, so I'm just going to press continue. Return to free roam. It's loading passengers. All tail lights on. Still doing 2G05. Locked doors. Now, it's got to change it. It doesn't give you time to change ends, which is a bit annoying. Um, AWS. And which one is it? Maybe that one. I'll select them. I'm going to open my doors. Papers. I don't think we can go out through here. Yes, we can. Uh, more papers, but we can't go out through there. No. Okay. I've done this on the plate on the Xbox version. There we go. I knew there was a bee plant around here somewhere. And there we go. Get him done. And there. And another bee. There's a lot of people here, but they don't want to be getting on my track. Oi, what are you doing? Get out. Hatfield platform one, so key in. Um, headlights on. Thingy lights off. Which ones are they? Tail lights, no, that one. Um, that's okay. Um, AWS isolation, vigilance, which is that one. Window open. Open window. Thank you. Not the door. Right, and let's go. So we're now going out of Glossop, we're heading to Hatfield. I love that they've got the old BR yellow signs here, which is quite cool. I like that these little speed signs my mate had a um, um, 125 mile an hour one of those signs and actually you don't think it's quite you don't think it's big but it is it was over nearly nine foot tall because a lot of it went into the ground about three foot of it went in the ground <laughs> right 45 mile an hour limit. Down to a 25 mile an hour limit. With this, you can slow, you can go up to 45, but then you're going to have to slow down about now to get down, slow down enough for your 25. So we've got a green, but it's a fixed fix distance distant coming up. So in theory, there should be another train ra roughly waiting for us up here, around this area here. There should be, maybe not. Usually it will wait, another train cannot enter this section while I'm in there. Apparently that's how they do it. That's how they work it. If I'm right.
So we've got the feather to go left, go right even. So we're not calling it a Dintin, we're calling, we're calling it a Hadfield. So I've not driven around this bit. Okay, we've got our 40 mile an hour before we hit 15. So this is new territory for me, I've not driven down here. Do I like this route? Yes, I do. I really do like this. Um, it's an interesting route. It's unique because you've got this triangle at the end. Um, and whereas it's not going to be to everyone's cup of tea. Um, no fixed distance coming up and we're just speeding as well. Yeah, whereas it's not going to be to everyone's cup of tea, it will favour to some. I have been to Dinting. Ah, right, yes. So I recognise this from one of the scenarios. This is from one of the scenarios. You, you you start here, and you drive your car in. You get out. It's the one where you got to do all the photos. I, what I did, I must say, I did quite like the bit where they got the like the disabled ramp, sort of thing, where it gets up to the thing. That's pretty cool. So Manchester Piccadilly via Glossop Part One. This is or Hadfield, Manchester Piccadilly via Glossop Part One. So. We're going to now go and do part two. So this is going to be a bit of a long, a bit of a long stream. Uh, it's only about 40 odd minutes. So um, at the moment, so, so we're going to carry on with the next one, which is 2G46. Manchester Piccadilly via Glossop. So we now have to change ends, go back to Glossop. So it's, is it T, 2G46? So, right, okay, right, continue, return to free roam, 
Right, load passengers. And while we're loading the passengers, we have to shut the train down. Turn the master key off. Um, put the those on. Tail lights on. We've got to shut the AWS. AWS down and vigilance isolated. I'm going to leave the windows open. I'll come out because I want to check that the windows, the doors are fine. Right, so on. So yeah, this this little thing I liked here, this where it helps get onto the flat, getting onto the the thingy. I quite like that. That's pretty cool. Right. So we'll get into this area here. Get out my bloody train! Go on. How dare you? Lock the doors, and then you just set your cab up again. Um, AWS. Um, put your headlights on, tail lights off, um, key in, and away you go. Uh, Deregister that because it's not the right one. Now it is. Two G four six. So in now going back to Glossop, then we got to change ends again, and then go back head back to Manchester. So literally doing we're doing an out and back, but we visit Glossop twice and Dinting. Yeah, Glossop twice. So in a way, it gives you both views of the route. So I'm going to take the frame rate counter off. So we're not going to be going up that one. We are going to be going up that way, but we're going to be going off to the left. Look. Going out back round here again. Back to Glossop. So we don't visit that side right this right hand side of Dinting. We visit that side.
I think I'll have to press continue and then return to free roam. Ten mile an hour limit is around here somewhere, near the fixed distance I was, would have said. It's just there. Putting into platform one at Glossop. Well, there's no other platform than platform one. That's that one. So we'll press continue again. Return to free roam. Load passengers. Um, switch that off. Ooh. Turn that off. Lock the doors. Um, didn't in platform two, so we're on our way to Manchester. We will be in a minute. Close the window. Make sure the lights are red. Hadfield. No, we're going to Dinton, mate. Get out. Go on. Out you go. This is my train. Um, 
2GO5, right, so key in. Um, 2G46, we don't need to, so click off that. Um, headlights on, tail lights off. And away we go. So now we're heading back to Manchester. Yeah, I mean, we're already speeding. There's nothing new there then. So all in all, we've done Manchester to Glossop, Glossop to Hatfield, Hatfield to Glossop, Glossop to um, Manchester Piccadilly. We've done four services, so they're all in parts. What other surprises do we get to see? Do we get to see any more HSTs? That's I'm really, really surprised at seeing that there. That's pretty impressive. Right. So that really took me by surprise seeing the uh, East Midlands HST at Manchester Piccadilly. I was like, oh, okay. There we go. So he's got to wait until I come out. So as soon as I clear dinting, he can come in. This is why I had that red light as I left the last station before dinting. Got a 10 mile an hour limit which is coming up as well. So instead of going straight on, we're now going off to the left. I thought I didn't, did we have a signal? I don't know. Oh, it definitely is warm here today. It's 27 degrees in the room. In the room. So this is the unique bit of the route, the triangle bit. And the fact that we've got Manchester Piccadilly in the game now, a modern day version of Manchester Piccadilly compared to having a 1970s version of Manchester Victoria with uh, Northern Transpennine. Nothing wrong with having um, a BR version of Northern uh, Manchester, uh, um, Victoria. So he's still waiting there. So when I get to go past out of here, when I clear this area here, he'll go. Lock the doors. Got to remember it's just a 10 mile an hour limit.
you go. He should have a green now. There he is. I don't know if this is something to do with high speed one, HS2, sorry. Next stop is Broadbottom, 1.2 miles. Just a wee bit fast over the viaducts. I was going to see how warm it was in outside. Today in sunny pool, it's 25 degrees centigrade. Which is nice. Hattersley is next. So yeah, once again, a big thank you to Dovetail for providing the early access key for this. Um, if you're wondering why I have it, it's uh, because I am an ambassador for um, Dovetail. Um, yeah, and um, really enjoying it. I am enjoying the route, strangely enough. It's the thing that it's, it's something that. You, the other thing as well is, is that with this, it's something, if you carry on doing like what I've done, continue the journeys, it's not every day that you get to change ends so many damn times in in one journey, so out and back. 
I think we're a little bit fast coming into here. Oh, we're on the money. Right. Where are we off to next? Godly platform one. What does it look like up in here? Where do we go? Well, you can't go any further. Okay. Hey, I've got to explore the station areas. Um, Manchester looks as though it's going to be busy. Um, although it could do with like Avanti services in there and, and I believe in the Don Coffee video I saw I think what I mis what I took for a 150 now I'm just kind of wonder what those services are what they do and I'm just kind of wondering well I thought we were stopping at this one no we're not um, could we see a northern version of the 150 and it appear in here? Yeah, it'd be interesting. Oh, we might have blown this one. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a Natalie. I've natted that one. Sorry, Nat. Nasta. Oh, it's Laszlo. From GTA fame. I like the, the the big graffiti on here, what they've done. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's nice. Newton on Hyde. Are we stopping? Newton for Hyde is next. Have I not got the AWS on? I've got to activate AWS. Naughty boy. Naughty naughty boy. I was in such a hurry to get to get going. Generally if you're hitting the platform about twenty five miles an hour, you should stop roughly on break one, step one. about five yard mark not doors Flowery Field is next. 
So in theory, at wherever it is, Guide Bridge, which is there, that 66 should still be the same 66. In theory. Because we've not gone out the game and come back in. We've not restarted the timetable. We've literally discontinued. Side bridge is next. So it is, I'm just, oh, we've got another northern job coming up. Oh, excuse me. All I want to do is just have a look. There we go. That's telling me there's a 40 mile an hour limit coming up. Start slowing down for the 40. I like the vegetation hanging down over the bridges. That's quite cool. So guide bridge is on to our left. So these white vans would necessitate be network rail vans. Not all of them though. That'll be white van man. Next up we have um, so they're still there. 
After that, we get to put. Oh, there's a freight train going in through that. We won't get to it. But some of, some of the freight trains, I think this could be an AI one, it just travels up. I take it this is part of the West Coast Main Line here. I think, I'm not 100% sure, someone correct me on that. And they just travel up there. And they come through here this way as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Ashbury's is 3.3 miles away. So there are AI freight trains as well as normal freight trains that we run. I don't know how many AI freight trains there are. The same with the other AI services like the HSTs, the 158s. There's only one 158 service that you can drive at the moment. So it'll be Ashbury's and then it will be um, Manchester Piccadilly, I think. Yeah. restriction coming up. So yeah, there, there is obviously traffic on here that you might probably would have seen in real life, but you know, stuff like the Pedalino stuff and cross country stuff, we currently do not have for Trains in World. So 600 yards till we get to Ashbury's. So I'll stop.
doors. Uh, I'll tell you what, we get a nice little run past going down here. I'm going to be about five minutes late coming into Manchester. Oh well. 40 mile an hour limit. Manchester Piccadilly, here we come. Should be able to see the West Coast Main Line. I think it's West Coast Main Line coming in over there. So now, over in the depot over here, there's a unit. wasn't there when we went past it earlier on. There it is, look. So I think they come and go throughout the day. That's the main running into anything in there no now we're now on the run into um, Manchester Piccadilly Frame rate's pretty solid coming into um, Piccadilly. There we are. Four. So that's four services. So I hope you really have enjoyed this. Um, yeah. So we did Manchester Piccadilly to Glossop via Dinting. Then we did Glossop to Manchester Piccadilly via Hatfield. And um, we've arrived back. So, um, yeah, this rather enjoyed that. So if we go back to look at the return to the timetable. Oh.
I think this has been a total of so far we're looking at 90 minute run roughly right so there we go we did 2g look we did 2g05 part one 2g05 part two 2G46 Hatfield Manchester Piccadilly via Glossop part one and then we did part two there that's pretty cool so yeah that's really enjoy I've really enjoyed that so I hope you have so if you have enjoyed it please leave a leave leave a like hit the sub button become a, a member um and hit the bell icon, then you'll be notified of when I go live, when I make content, and when I upload community posts as well. So thank you all very much, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and again, thank you to Dovetail for the key for the route and the early look, or early access to, um, um, to Manchester, to Glossop and Hatfield route. So thank you all very much, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.